point to 2029. That would rough. That's roughly my guess too, give or take a year. So if you know, if it takes like an additional six months or 12 months for AGI, that's really not a big deal. Is artificial general intelligence on the horizon? Elon Musk says AI will probably be smarter than any single human by next year. But how close are we to achieving artificial general intelligence? In a recent discussion with podcaster Joe Rogan, futurist Ray Kurzweil predicted that AGI would be a reality by 2029. He claimed, We are not quite there yet, but by 2029, it will match any person. However, Musk seems to think we are moving faster. He stated that AI will probably be smarter than any single human next year. By 2029, AI will probably be smarter than all humans combined. The race to AGI seems to be heating up. What exactly is AGI? It's a hot topic among tech leaders worldwide, especially with the rise of AI systems like ChatGPT and Gemini. But what does it mean? AGI refers to a stage where AI models become super skilled, able to do almost anything humans can do, and maybe even better. But not everyone agrees on when or if AGI will happen, and whether it'll be good or bad for us. Let's see what some tech leaders think. Meta's Yan LeCun says that current AI chatbots aren't on the path to AGI. They're smart, but still have limits. They need lots of data and can't really understand the world or plan ahead. Google CEO Sundar Pichai doesn't like talking about AGI. He thinks today's systems will become super powerful whether they reach AGI or not. They could do amazing things, but also cause problems like spreading false information. OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman is excited about AGI. He thinks it'll be the most powerful tech ever. Imagine intelligence getting cheaper and better. It could change everything. AGI is still a big mystery, but one thing's for sure. It could revolutionize our world in ways we've only seen in sci-fi movies. This week, there's been buzz about Meta, the company behind popular advertising platforms, thinking about offering an ad-free subscription in India by 2024. If this happens, brands might need to change how they advertise and work more with content creators to make catchy content. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, Meta might introduce a $14 subscription plan in the European Union to remove ads from Facebook and Instagram. In India, it's still early days, but it seems like the plan is due to changes in internet rules. India is a big market for Meta because of its large population and more people using smartphones. Meta's Indian arm saw a huge 74% jump in ad revenue in FY 2022. With India's growing influencer marketing and ads on social media, this move could shake up the advertising industry. We talked to experts to find out what this could mean for advertisers. Sayak Mukherjee from Brandwids Communications thinks the subscription model could give users a better experience with fewer ads, making the platform more engaging. But if more people choose ad-free subscriptions, it might be harder for advertisers to target specific groups. They might have to rethink their budgets and what they expect from their ads. Hitarth Dadia, CMO and partner at No Filter Group, believes Meta's plan could improve the ad industry by reducing intrusive ads on Facebook and Instagram. Advertisers might need to focus more on influencer marketing and creative content to connect with their audience. They'll also have to be smarter about reaching users who don't see ads. Is OpenAI's Sora the filmmaking apocalypse or just a great demo for a tech company? People in the AI world think the new text-to-video model, Sora, is a big deal in artificial intelligence, but it might have some limits when it's released to everyone. Hollywood is buzzing about a fancy new AI model called Sora that can make super realistic movie-like videos from just a few lines of text. Last week, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT and DALL-E, teased Sora, which they named after the Japanese word for sky. Tyler Perry even put an $800 million studio expansion on hold, worried about job losses. The videos Sora makes are amazing. You can see woolly mammoths walking through snow, bustling Tokyo streets, and even a colorful coral reef all from just a short text description. AI experts are thrilled about Sora. Edward Saatchi from Fable Studios said it's way ahead of what he expected. While there were rumors about OpenAI working on a video tool, the launch surprised many, even those within the company. Filmmaker Paul Trillo is impressed too, but he thinks Sora needs more customization options before it can really shake up the industry. He's not sure if it's just a cool demo or something that can truly change how we make movies. Compared to other models, 
Sora's videos look much better and can be longer, up to 60 seconds. It improves details like skin texture, hair, and reflections, making the videos more realistic. Some AI experts think Sora, OpenAI's new text-to-video model, could shake up how movies are made. It can turn short text descriptions into lifelike videos, leaving Hollywood folks amazed. Edward Saatchi from Fable Studios says Sora lets us tell more complex stories than before. It understands how things move in videos better than other AI tools. For example, it can create realistic background characters and movements. Filmmaker Paul Trillo is impressed too. He likes how Sora understands the sequence of events in a prompt, making it closer to a usable storytelling tool. But Sora still has flaws, like no dialogue and being too perfect. Trillo thinks Sora could change how ads and stock footage are made, but he believes traditional filmmakers with vision will still succeed, even with AI tools around. While Sora is exciting, it's not perfect. It still needs improvements in customization and usability. Plus, using AI in filmmaking raises copyright issues. Studios need to be careful because content made by AI can't be copyrighted. Overall, Sora is cool, but it won't replace human creativity in filmmaking anytime soon. Sachi, who worked on an AI tool for making South Park episodes, thinks we're getting closer to a world where computers can run TV shows on their own. But he worries this could take away the collaborative spirit of filmmaking. He says that while AI is affecting many jobs, it hasn't completely changed everything yet. Silicon Valley often predicts big changes for Hollywood, but Hollywood keeps going strong. So while AI is making waves, Sachi says not to panic. Hollywood has faced challenges before and come out on top. Now OpenAI's big rival emerges from China, outperforms GPT-4. A new AI challenger to OpenAI's famous GPT-4 language model has arrived, and it's from a Chinese company called SenseTime. Their latest creation, SenseNova 5.0, claims to outdo GPT-4 in various tests. While real-world performance might differ, SenseNova 5.0's test results suggest it's better at logical reasoning, creative writing, and more. It can understand and generate human-like text even better than GPT-4, making it handy for practical uses. SenseTime unveiled this powerful model, SenseNova 5.0, on April 8, 2024, during a tech event in Shanghai. It combines transformer and recurrent neural network designs and is trained on a massive dataset of over 10 billion language samples from different sources and languages. PR Newswire reported that SenseNova 5.0 was trained using over 10 terabytes of tokens, including a lot of synthetic data. The model uses a mixture of experts' method to handle a context window of about 200,000 during inference, which boosts its performance. This window size is much larger than GPT-4 Turbo's 128,000 input. However, it's important to remember that effectively handling data is more important than just handling a lot of data, which we still need to see in action. Dr. Xu Li, chairman and CEO of SenseTime said, in the era of AGI, the three elements of data, algorithms, and computing power are evolving. The number of model parameters will increase a lot, and data volume will also grow with new types of data, leading to a greater need for computing power.